Candelaria, Quezon, Philippines, 2021, August 29th. A letter to artists. If you're anything like me, you have a hard time figuring this whole art thing out. Why didn't we just become good with numbers and pursue engineering or accounting? Not that there are no artists there, but at least they get to be somewhere. For the rest of us, anything that has to do with math is out of the equation. But somehow, we have to figure out this whole passion and occupation thing. For the most part, we don't know what we are doing. We just kind of, sort of, do. To be creative means to do something differently. Not necessarily better, but differently. In my experience, doing something different intelligently makes you stand out just a little bit more. It gives off an illusion that somehow what you did was better when really it's just different. That you somehow bent the rules, that you tried to do something your own way. While everyone was trying to do jackets, you made a coat. You knew that you were an artist when you just couldn't think of anything else. That your improvement, your mistakes, are close to you. While others say it's nice, you could always see that one misplaced word, that one stroke, that one cut or beat that was off, that could still somehow be better. Maybe you have one art in mind. Perhaps it's in literary, visual, performing arts, sculpture, fashion, or whatever. It could be in one instrument, one medium, one discipline, or it could be in many, which makes it even harder. Right now, you could be looking at the future and you can't see how in some way it's going to favor your passion, that you fear that you can end up like those old musicians rediscovering their forgotten trumpet or piano in the dusty attic, playing it again another time around. The goal now is not to lose that passion, to look yourself to the core and ask yourself, what is it really that you do? In the past, I've done comic books because I'd like my illustrations to come to life, leading into digital art. There was acting, singing, and dancing, filmmaking, prose, poetry, and public speaking. I've been in debates and have also performed spoken poetry. There was also a stint in trying to learn an instrument, although it didn't end well. My figuring out stage was long, and as a matter of fact, it's still unfinished. As different as these things might be, to the core, they are all the same, which is storytelling. It's the people involved in it. It's the message. It's the excitement of it. It's everything. Our goal is to find something to do for ourselves and other people. Our goal is to do something we are passionate about and something to make a living at. The very best of us know that if we can do something that does both, the better. Rejections will happen, and it wouldn't be easy. There will be days that we will question not only our abilities, but also our sanity. People in different fields might get ahead faster, but we will not stop. Other artists might overwhelm us, but we will not stop. We might have to do the things we hate to get there, but we will not stop. We might be working on something we don't want, but we will not stop. We might be ridiculed, shamed, and hated, but we will not stop. We will not stop because stopping means stopping a dream. We might be delusional, crazy, or stupid, but we will continue to dream because dreamers dream. We are artists, and so we create. Maybe not always for the world, maybe just for ourselves, but we create nonetheless. As bad as it is, as horrible we are at it, we do it not because someone said so, but because it's the food for our soul. It's what we are put in this world to do, or at least, that's what we want to believe. A starving artist is a cliché. You might be in your room, your office, or your factory line. You might open the door for you, sell something to you, or do the dishes for you. You might see us doing different jobs and doing all the weird labor. You might know us as John from work, Anna from the grocery store, or Steve the accountant. But you will also know us as artists. Continue creating. Carl O'Malley